don't get it. You said you'd be okay. It was my first time, okay? I don't need all this. Hey, hey, that's all right. You should have said, why didn't you tell me? Because I thought you wouldn't like me. In case you thought I was a little girl. So please, I'd be too ashamed. Look, it was an accident, yeah? And my fault. I can explain. Don't bother. I think I can figure it out. Drug dealing now, is it? No. I knew you were a chancer, but I didn't think you were stupid. What's going on? Looks like you forgot to lock the door. Caught him thieving. I only need to get some water. I wasn't trying to steal anything. And you? I thought I already told All you. All I wanted was one pill. Look, I, uh, I think I know what's going on here. How come you can only get it if you're a girl? What if I don't want a baby? Well, stealing isn't the answer. What else was I supposed to do? We've only got a few hours left. If she doesn't want to take it, you can't make her own it. Oh, you make her then. I can't put pressure on Sarah, nor can Mr Mead. She has every right to her own decision. It's her body. Well, what about my rights? I hear what you're saying, Ronan, but... this is the kind of situation where it'd be helpful if Sarah's parents were involved. Well, you know that's not an option. Look, I do sympathise, Ronan. It's a complex issue. Look, if you can't persuade her to talk to her parents or the nurse and get her to come to myself or Mr Mead, it won't go any further. Yeah, right. But I can't let you off trying to steal potentially dangerous medication under any circumstances. Hello, Mrs Evans. Yeah, my name's Mr Mead. I'm running the Sexual Health Awareness Scheme. Yeah. The thing is, your daughter's boyfriend's been in to see me this morning. The UK has the highest teenage pregnancy rate in Western Europe. Oh my good God! Mum, is this a school or a brothel? <laughs> Well, what's going on? Taking you home is what? This is a knee-jerk reaction, Mrs Evans. It's not going to help anyone. It's supposed to be a place of learning where your children are protected. That's exactly why this scheme's in place. So? Is it true? Did your so-called boyfriend try and get you emergency contraception today? Well, I'd... Maybe. I'd... Why? No, but I didn't take it. And that's the problem that I think we should discuss. That boy's got a lot to answer for. You know, Ronan tried to steal a pill for Sarah today. He earned himself a load of detention, all because he was trying to help her. And I don't imagine that it was easy for him to call you. But he did it for a reason. And if this initiative hadn't been in place, he wouldn't have even had that option. Come on, I'm going to see the nurse. Little word, yeah? You shouldn't have pretended to be me, Ronan. At least she's getting the pill, isn't she? So did I do right or wrong? There could have been serious consequences for Sarah. There still could. You don't even know what her relationship's like with her mum. Have a sit down. Look, I am not trying to judge you, Ronan, but you need to spare a thought for Sarah. Decisions about her own body, taken out of her hands like that. You think I'm not bothered about Sarah? Don't you get it? That's what all this is about. I don't want to be a dad. But I could always do the crap thing and just walk away. But what about her? I thought she was more experienced. She said she had a boyfriend before, but she lied, right? She was trying to act older than what she is. And now she can't handle it. And now I feel like that's totally my fault. 
this isn't about fault. I'm the one that had sex with her. So I can't just leave her to it. I'm all freaked out. My mum had me when she was a year older than Sarah. All I ever hear is what she could have done. Couldn't because I was there. And you know what? She was right. When I have a kid, I want to love it, not blame it. So I'm glad of what I did. You can punish me, right? Sarah can hate me. My mum can call me whatever. But I know what I did was right. Isn't that what being a man's supposed to be all about?